Spirit. Amen. Let us just pause for a moment. I want you to think about your prayer intentions for today. Okay, as we come together, let us ask the risen Jesus. He's risen from the dead. He's with us. He's alive. And he loves it when two or more are together in prayer. So let us ask him, first of all, thank God for everything that he's done for us. And let us ask whatever petitions that you have in your heart for healing. We pray for health. We pray for our country. We pray for all of those that are not here. We pray for those that don't have anybody to pray for them. We pray for each other. Let's pray for our families. We pray for those that are that are lonely, that are incarcerated, that Jesus has mercy on them and has compassion. We pray for those that have gone before us. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, lega por nosotros los pecadores. The second glorious mystery, Jesus ascends into heaven. And so let us, during this Easter season, be reminded that Jesus is our risen Jesus. He's alive. And that he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. So let us pray with joy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is given to us to empower us, to, to make us enlightened, to recognize Jesus in our life. And so let us ask God and thank God for the gift of his Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of the Blessed Mother into heaven. So let us pray with faith this next decade of the rosary. Whatever your intention is, let us give it to our Mother Mary. And she in turn will ask her son to pray for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The last glorious mystery, Mary is crowned queen of heaven and earth. And so as we pray this rosary, we talk about Mary, the blessed Virgin Mary. But in the middle of the prayer, Jesus is the focus of our entire prayer. And I just want to answer, somebody asked me one time, um, why do we pray to Mary? Why don't we just go directly to God or Jesus? Well, the answer is that we do. That Jesus is the person that goes directly to God. And when we ask Mary to pray for us, we're simply asking her to go to her son. In the Bible, it tells us, pray for one another. So let us keep in mind that everything that we do in our prayer group here, is directed toward Jesus, asking Mary to pray to her son for us. So let us develop a devout love for Mary because Jesus loved her. But Jesus is the, is the king. He's the risen savior. He's the Messiah. He's the all. He's the alpha. He's the omega. Let us not forget that, okay? And so let's ask God to increase that faith so that there's no doubt that we know that he is here with us. Mm -hmm. And when we invoke his name, there's power in his name, Jesus Christ, above all other names. Mm -hmm. So let's pray this last, last, last rosary with conviction that our heart is on fire with love for the Lord. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Amen. Amen. And as we close, we're going to ask St. Michael, the archangel, to defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl about the
the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs>